In Tech Time with me, Andrew Humphrey, we're talking about astronomy and planetary science. Everything from a final destination a million miles from Earth, four tons of metal barreling toward the moon, and the mystery in the cosmos that is baffling scientists. For this past week, it has been a busy one in the space world. An intergalactic mystery unfolding, and even scientists are scratching their heads. Back in 2018, a spinning object releasing giant bursts of energy was discovered by scientists in Australia. At the time, those bursts of energy were the brightest source of radio waves visible from Earth. Now astronomers are taking guesses at what it might have been. Many say it's likely a magnetar, which is essentially leftover remnants of stars that have died. Usually those flare each second, but this object has a pattern. It releases energy for one minute every 18 minutes, which no other celestial object does. Others believe this could be a slowly spinning neutron star that astronomers only theoretically believe exists. Or it might be something completely new. Whatever it is, it's about 4,000 light years away, which is considered close by in cosmic terms. Moving closer to the Earth now, the James Webb Space Telescope was launched over a month ago, and it's reached its final destination, about a million miles away from Earth. During its voyage, the telescope unfolded a tennis court-sized shield and a 21-foot gold-plated mirror. Next, the telescope needs to be perfectly aligned, while its infrared sensors go through a five-month cooling-off period before it can explore distant stars and dark areas of the galaxy. The first images are expected to transmit back to Earth this summer. Finally, an out-of-this-world story that involves a giant collision with the Moon. In the next few weeks, pieces of a SpaceX rocket launched in 2015 will crash into the Moon. So you've got a four-ton chunk of metal hitting the Moon at 5,000 miles an hour. And so it's going to make a nice little artificial crater. Uh, there's going to be no sound, of course, because there's no air on the moon, so it'll be a silent smash. The moon's gravitational pull will draw the rocket booster in, and it's calculated the booster will crash around March 4th. An amateur astronomer was the first to discover the collision course. This is the first time that something has unintentionally hit the moon. Now, while it will create a new crater, there won't be any damage to the moon itself. Astronomers say the leftover rocket is part of a growing problem of man-made space junk that is littering Earth's orbit. As for the moon, astronomers expect the impact to produce a massive flash of light and a dirt cloud, but don't expect to see it from Earth. The impact is predicted to strike on the dark side of the moon. Now, even mishaps like that or the new discoveries to come will inspire the astronomer in your home and in your heart. As for an update to a previous Tech Time story and another space mission, the Parker Space Probe, which touched the sun last month, it's going to get even closer to the sun and project images back here to Earth by this time next month. That's Tech Time with me, Andrew Humphrey. Back over to you. Oh, we remember you talking about yeah. that. I can't wait to get the update next month. I, every time I see something about the, the Webb telescope, I just immediately click <laughs> on it or like tune in to whatever Andrew is saying because <laughs> exactly. I think it's so cool. Oh, absolutely. And he, he just Andrew has such a knack of explaining oh. it so that you and I can yeah. get it. As, as always, <laughs> yes.